Hello again, uh, it's Peter Bradley again, the director of Ferris State University and member of the Professional Development Committee. Uh, this is the third how-to video. It's on Twitter. Um, this one doesn't really depend on the, the previous one, uh, although we do use it. We do use the Google account that we set up in the last one uh, as the confirmation of the Twitter uh, account. So um, you should probably watch 1B before you watch this one, but it's not necessary. Okay, so this is the third video in the how-to series, and here we're going to set up Twitter. So you should have already set up your Google account, you have a Gmail account, and then we're going to set up Twitter first. So here we go. We begin, like we always do, going to Google. Put in Twitter, and we want the main site, so click there on the first one. And you should get something that looks like this. Yours, of course, will be different, but up here on the right, you'll have a sign up. And here is the sign up. Remember, uh, Twitter doesn't care about real identities, so you can put in your handle, you can put whatever you want at the top, um, and uh, your password. I use the same one as I do for Gmail. Uh, it's just easier to remember them all. And that checkbox doesn't matter. You can do it or you can not do it. Uh, and then click sign up. Uh, phone number, this is for security, for double logins. Uh, you don't have to use it, you can click skip. And username, username can be changed later. Uh, your handle, Engage Ferris for us, is a good way to go. Um, I actually set an account up before and uh, had to delete it. So this one, I'm gonna have to use the different, this is why it's important to make sure that everything is clear before you get started. So we'll go with Engage underscore Ferris. Okay, so then you'll get some info and hit let's go. This is like when we were on Google Plus and there were all these uh, things that you could follow if you were interested in. Uh, Twitter really wants you to do this, so you got to pick a few. Um, I usually just pick some education stuff and, and move forward. Now, Twitter wants to have all of your information, so it's going to ask you to import your contacts. We set up a Google account that is just blank and it's just Engage Ferris, and there's no contact information in its address book, so I'm going to go ahead and say fine. It will connect my account to Google, and we're going to have to do that anyway later. Uh, this is why we set up the Gmail account that's blank and not your personal one, because you don't want to email everyone you've ever known when you sign up for Twitter. So we're going to say allow. And there we go. Uh, this is just generic people that Twitter wants me to follow. I'm not going to follow any of them. Um, I'm going to click here so that they all go away. And uh, let's see, we should follow somebody to get started. I think we may have to follow three. So um, uh, yeah, there's no one there that, that I'm interested in. So we're gonna put up here, we're gonna follow me again, like we did on the other. So Peter Bradley uh, is unfortunately a very common name. So um, that didn't work. So let's try my handle, which is Peter Bradley, except without EY at the end and 42. That's me at Peter Bradley 42. And here's Ferris Honors. And we'll get both of those and follow. Um, you can choose here. I'm going to say yes so that I get alerted when um, someone tweets Engage for us. Okay, we're here. It's going to have a couple of tips. Uh, take your time, read these. It will be helpful. It does show you where to do things. Um, so we're going to click next. And here's this is how you do a reply, and this is how you do a retweet. Um, with, and if you love something, you can click the heart. Okay, the first thing we have to do is confirm. That header bar at the top told us we hadn't yet confirmed. So we go to Google. We go into Gmail, here's our confirmation. Click confirm now, and we're all set. Everything is set up. So now we have to set, uh, set some images up so we're a bit more engaging. Click on edit profile and upload photo for the header. This is just like we did with Google. We're gonna grab the same one, the, the one of the, my son and I working on a project, and you can scale uh, or you can move it around if you grab. Uh, that looks good enough. And we're going to, yeah, right there. And then click Apply. And then I'm going to use the same little icon of the, the Ferris statue as my identity. So upload photo. And that's the Ferris one. Uh, again, I can position and re resize and apply. And we're good. There are a couple of preferences settings that we should look at before we go on. So. Um, go up here to the little person icon and go to settings and privacy. Um, the first thing is time zone. Uh, make sure that your time zone is set to your actual time zone. That actually matters in Twitter because things happen fast. So we're in uh, Eastern time, US and Canada, so I'm going to pick that. 
and uh, uh, save changes. Uh, I got to put the password back in. Okay. Uh, you might want to turn off video autoplay if you're not if you're on a mobile device or uh, you know you're not going to be at your office. That's not very wise um, to have autoplay on because it can be a lot of traffic. Uh, other things that were going on here is. Uh, um, email notifications and web notifications. If, if someone responds to you, do you want that to come to you? Um, there's the, the mobile number that you can put in for second ID and uh, um, apps down here. Though we will connect some apps in, in the future, but we don't need to worry about that now. Um, blocked accounts, you shouldn't have any blocked accounts. Um, widgets, that's not really relevant for us, but we may see that again when we come back to um, WordPress. There's to turn off video autoplay again. If you want to change your password, this is where you go. And I'm looking for the um, byline, the, the tag, uh, uh, and I can't find it. Um, we're not going to, that's how you could log out, but let's go over here. Um, go back to uh, edit profile on this main page, okay? Okay, my apologies. This is a couple of uh, hours later, and I found out what I was looking for. So go to your edit profile, and then see these appear just below your name. I, they were there before, I just didn't notice them. So in the bio is where we put our tagline, providing enriching experiences for middle school and high school age students in Western Michigan. And the, the website there, just like we did on um, Google, is going to be the one we're setting up, not the one we already have, but the one that we will send all of our traffic to, which is the blog. And that's um, HTTP uh, colon slash slash engageferris.wordpress.com. And that's how you complete your bio. Just hit save changes and you should be done. You don't need a birthday here. Twitter doesn't really care. There we go. Okay, so we're back to the original. This is how you do a tweet. At the bottom, there's this box, and whatever you put in that box, it is going to be tweeted. Now, we don't have any followers as Engage Ferris. So that doesn't go anyone where except to us. Um, but if you did, they would get it as well. You can also click on the upper right button, tweet, and uh, right next to your profile settings, and do it the same way. This box, though, is a search. It's not the tweet box. Uh, Sean Spicer famously got in trouble for confusing those two. But look up Ferris Honors. This is our site. This is our main page. And click follow uh, if you're going to follow us. Uh, the NCHC is another good one to follow. Uh, remember, we don't want the hockey. We want honors, NCHC honors. And uh, there's cool stuff from uh, Partners in the Parks. And so click follow, and you'll make sure that you get those in as well. But, and um, yeah, that's the NCHC honors Twitter. Okay, that's it for the uh, Twitter account setup. We'll come back to this with WordPress, obviously, but for, for good for now. Uh, so we're going to move on to Facebook. Next video will be uh, Toolkit 1D Facebook, and so I'll see you all there.